But I use them, the iPhone 11. My iPhone is a terrible, terrible, terrible phone when it comes to UX. I don't care if it's giving you a headache. My iPhone is sweet. You can only copy one item per time on iPhone. Since the history of iPhone, how useless can that be? Like, <laughs> he has said too so much. He has already poured cold water on my body. Now I don't know where to start from. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Uwa Femi Shiji Kene. I am a product specialist and a general all-round product person. My name is Precious Shiji Kene and I work as a content creator. So currently I use a MacBook Pro 2020, 500 gig SSD and four Thunderbolt ports. I'm saying that because I know that there's a difference. There are two. Um, there's one two Thunderbolt ports, one four Thunderbolt ports. So if you're using two Thunderbolt ports, I'm not talking to you. Um, but that's what I use for work anyway. Um, well, I use them, the iPhone 11 and the MacBook for work. I mean, I don't know the, the I can't be speaking on the English I have to speak on, you get? But the main part is I use an iPhone 11 and then MacBook 2017. I bought it because of the camera. The camera is sweet. I was using a Samsung before this and I think A7. Yes, the camera wasn't as good as the iPhone 11. So up I upgraded because of the quality of videos and pictures i wanted to start making i used to use an iphone 11 as well i don't really like iphone generally i just i just use iphone 11 then because like i needed to switch phone and then of course uh my wife says she wants to use something i'll use it but generally speaking i'm not an iphone person so it was easy for me to switch past the samsung um so iphone has its own very like great use cases um at least because i used to because i use a mac and i use an iphone and you know that they have like a very good interaction on the ecosystem so it, it makes it like easy for me to like switch for instance airdrop functionality all of these things it makes things easy but iphone is a terrible 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 phone when it comes to ux Calm so down, it frustrates my life and then i just have to <laughs> of course <laughs> I mean, I feel like, first of all, I'm glad that you're enlightened, that you're enlightened the ecosystem of like, Apple products. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. So I don't care if it's giving you a dick. My iPhone is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and then I think also that, um, I mean, I don't want to start giving all the, all the straight up banter yet, right? But I don't know the edit that's talking about. My iPhone is sweet. It's perfect to what I want. Thank you. It's true. I mean, where do you want me to start? Okay, first of all, the design of iPhones, they are cute, right? I mean, it's it's very handy. Have you seen Samsung Wait, S22 no. Ultra? Guy, guy, calm down first. Calm down, calm down, let me talk. Like, the design is sweet. Um, the It has like some functionality that makes it easy to be able to use your, I mean, lies. so. Lies, I don't mean, lies. Bro, like, you see, you're about men. <laughs> <laughs> so i mean for example right i feel like one of the key things is that ecosystem that i that apple has like you can easily switch from your phone to your watch to your um laptop easily you can copy and paste there's a, there's a way you can copy and paste from your iphone without using any kind of connection so that's sweet in terms of um my camera quality it's sweet I'm talking about the focus point because what I you know what I do when it comes to like shoot videos and pictures, it's easy. The focus is quick. It's quicker than um, Samsung, and then also um, editing using even when I have to use my phone. So I have like apps on my phone like CapCut, InShot. It's faster. It's faster. It's faster. Let's let's first talk about what the two companies have, right? So Samsung they don't have like like Samsung laptops the way. Um, iPhone does, uh, like Apple does. So for, you, you need to remove that because it's not like they control an ecosystem like Apple does. But let's go talk about the ecosystem. Clipboard, something that simple. You can only copy one item per time on iPhone. Since the history of iPhone, how useless can that be? Like, <laughs> I, I want to copy something right now and keep it on my, so that I can use it later. But there's something else I want to copy. Once I copy that, it deletes. That's so ridiculous. So, <laughs> so all your universal clipboard is just useless because the only one thing you can copy at per time. When you think about Samsung, at least powered by Android, but let's forget about the Android factor. The fact that you can, the, the clipboard can house so many things, including pictures, 
multiple pictures at the same time already defeats whatever universal cable you're talking about but let's go into camera how dare you like how dare you even even try <laughs> even attempt to compare so what are the camera um, functionalities zoom zoom on this phone is at least should we try it now like for video <laughs> i can stand in, on my balcony and watch somebody who is at least eight 10, 20 kilometers away and see the person clearly and take clear photos. But somebody who is doing content, you should be doing that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my God. You're a bad man. The fuck? Well, but, 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 nah. On a more serious note, like, <laughs> I, 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 I think that um, I think that Apple phones are great when it comes to design. Um, UI, UI, they're excellent. It has like excellent UI. But there's no point going into a building that is painted so nice and there's no chair to sit on. There's Bro. no fridge, fridge, so you have to drink hot water. There's, I like, see your wife. It's, so like, it's, talk it's, about my phone. It's fine. It's fine. What does it really do? <laughs> you know, like there are so many little components of the iPhone that is just ridiculous. Like when you try to, for instance, the fact that you can't, you can't um, 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 download stuff onto the phone. Like think about somebody who, who does content, right? You can't download stuff onto the phone and keep it. Then you have to pay for one storage here, pay for another storage there, pay for one like micro subscriptions. Next it's, time I come back to this but show, for, for I'm Samsung, coming with you guns. Customize. You can build, even if you ask I'm coming with instance, guns. They will prefer to interact with um, the the Android, you know, SDK and all those things, um, as opposed to iOS. So if I go into the details of hardware, we will not leave this place, right? <laughs> but we we'll just know that it will be difficult for you you to win an argument like when you place iphone it doesn't matter what the model is whether it's iphone 13 so, but I or feel iphone 19 like... place it beside any samsung it'll be difficult to win if you remove the ecosystem i don't think i feel like both of them you have their peculiarities right that makes them True. stand out from each other True. so i think that's one thing that we need to write. like like both of them they are sweet agree True. but they have like some specifics that are like not what? found in it I'll come back to that. No, I, no, we, we, we can go into it right now. Like, we can go into it right now. When it comes to like, um, um, think about like security functionality. I Samsung would go for like fingerprint functionality. Their face ID doesn't work well. Face ID for I, I we know, like even in the dark, like even in the dark, I you can identify my face. I know face ID works very well on iPhone. Uh, I know. Yeah, thank I know. you. But what's the point of the face ID if anything spoils on the face ID? Because we know that this thing is it's computer, right? Things break. So if it breaks on the face ID, for instance, you then begin to look for other alternatives to access your phone. It's ridiculous. But on on um on the iPhone or on this, on Samsung rather, there are multiple highly secured methods. So there is face ID, which is very highly secure. But if it doesn't work, there's also fingerprint, which is still highly secured. Once Face ID doesn't work and somebody has your password with iPhone, you're gone. How do you win such arguments? Wow! Well, like, it's, it's good. You well, have those things. Well. Like, nah. Yeah, that's probably an unfair comparison. Yeah, because I know that at least iPhone 11 came like much later. Um, I, Samsung um, 21. Samsung, yeah. English is hard. <laughs> so, S21 Ultra came like much after. It's a little unfair there, but I'll still do the comparison. Camera for camera, I don't, I don't think I need to preach the Samsung message too much. But camera for camera is really not like we've tried it now. You know, I make cocktails on the side. I take photos of my cocktails with my phone. She, 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 she takes photos of my cocktail with her own phone, and we see the difference. I mean, we are going to send you the picture so that we can settle this fight, <laughs> right? So <laughs> if you are online, you just vote for the person that's you know. All right, thank screen, you. Screen for screen, right? Yes um screen, screen screen to phone ratio for instance like the, the, the phone is much more bigger rather than um, compared to like yeah if you were pro maybe we can say but like screen yeah. to phone ratio even on pro like samsung is still way better you, iphone came out and made so much noise about bezel-less technology in 2022 there's no bezel-less iphone zero like it is but of course like this one the bezel is very thin you know so I, I don't want to compare phone to phone because like yeah. Yeah, we already know what comparing against. But um I think that like overall it's with that. I mean not really, not so much. Um not so much. I feel like he has said so much. He has already poured cold water on my body. Now I don't know where to start from. <laughs> I can give you some pointers because I know a couple of things that I will be But but I mean I think so far 
right for so i, I agree when it says there's an unfair judgment for iphone 11 and Amazon ultra because if we're going to make a comparison with um the phone that actually came out around the same time we could maybe argue so much on the camera quality right because to be fair when it comes to zooming this camera can pick the tiniest thing than mine so i mean i'll give that to him um but i would also say that um is this samsung right now if it should fall down right now we're probably going to sell our house to fix that food <laughs> But for my own, I probably maybe I'll just cook food and then sell it for like you know, and then we we'll use the mic gun fix the phone. So yeah, yeah. Do I need to say what? Well? <laughs> but I mean, okay. So but in terms of my work now, so because of the level of his phone, so his phone is like here and mine is still like here. I think I'll take it. Right. I, mean, I can't really just say this is better than the other. They just have I their mean, own to be, strength. To be fair, yeah. right. One one plus is that the design. I think the design is good. Now. Yeah. The strength of the camera too for the iPhone, I think, is a lot more um better than that actually i think the camera is comfortable for me right um the camera is comfortable although i don't really like how much i cloud and the, my photos how it just messes up my work a lot because then i have to now keep on buying space deleting my quick my videos because i have shoots on like 4k so that's annoying but yeah for now for me right now the camera is okay for me and then edit editing on my phone it's very sweet like when i do reels on instagram i use cut cut and in shorts it's sweet on my phone because it's fast um for the battery life when i first bought it, it was really good like it was really good but now it's it's okay yeah it's okay i've been using this phone for more than a year yes and it's okay so i'll give that to that um also in terms of moving my work to the other show like when i make videos pictures here i can easily grab my laptop wherever and i, I can see access that pictures and everything and download it edit on my laptop edit on my phone so i think it actually does the work that i need um in terms of also using the apps generally or different twitter instagram where i post my work um youtube and all of that it's easy it's 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 fast it's easy it's it's straightforward it's um i think i'm comfortable with my phone for my work for now i mean the level of suffer this is where <laughs> it's it as i should sit down i mean it's i think i'm comfortable it does my work for me gets my job done and so i think i'm cool with that um i think it depends on what you can afford truly because i would say that go for the top of the um product that is out there right now like because you have because i think iphone as they keep releasing new products they, their camera quality keeps increasing so i would say go for the best but if you're doing content go for what you can afford the key thing is the message you're trying to pass what you're trying to deliver what you're trying to achieve right that's what should be at the forefront of your mind and what's whatever whatever phone you're using as well there is a way you can always set your camera to get the best out of that phone so it's read on what you can do to set up your camera, focus on the message you're trying to achieve, and then I think you're good. Yeah. If I were to advise somebody who is starting out in product, I would say you don't even need a gadget. It's your head that you need. Um, the gadget is just for you to interact with your colleagues. Because like products on like engineering or on like data, data, even though you need some of these skills, like you need some basic engineering skills to be able to write code here and there. You need some data skills for you to be able to create database here and there. You don't need too much technical stuff. So you can use a regular laptop. You, don't, you cannot buy a MacBook. You can have like a regular phone just to be able to connect to your people. So I don't think you need like a strong... However, if I were to... If you have money, you are not in Sapa like my wife. I'm not in Sapa. <laughs> wow! Oh my God. Oh. Really, right? If you have enough money, um, I would say you should go for like Alienware system because they are really, really good in terms of like the processor, the speed, it makes you do like crazy things. You are the kind of person who is very heavy on technical side, but you don't need it. For my MacBook, so I was using Dell, like I said before. Um, the space was, was annoying, my laptop was always annoying. Yeah. Um, because I had to use, you know, if you, um, if you use all of the Adobe, the, the apps, the Premiere Pro, if you use all of those, you know, when you have all of them in your laptop, you cannot do more, you cannot use more than one at the same time, it will crash, it will start handling. So I have to move to the MacBook. So it really helped me. My my um, Prima Pro is faster. Um, also, assessing um, the content I need 
when I take a picture and video, I don't have to start connecting a cord. It's already uploaded to iCloud. I can easily access it on my MacBook. So that was sweet for me. It was easy. It made my work a lot more easier. So MacBook made my took my 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 work rate or my level of edit to maybe a 50% or 80% job for where it was. I think I think the key thing that stands out is the ecosystem. If you are using an iPhone, it's easy for you to. It's based on the space. It's based on the the um, speed. The, the speed. It's based on the memory. Yes, yeah, memory space of the of the laptop. If that can get your work done, can make. Of course, yes, no doubt. There are some um 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 Windows laptop that cannot even stand beside the MacBook. We get that, right? But if you, it's easy when you're using an iPhone. It's when you're using an iPhone, right? Aside from that, if you are now using a Windows, I'm just check for space, check for for speed. Can you get your work done? You're good to go. People who are in product or engineering will lean more towards Mac, and that's for security reasons, right? Like when it comes to security, right? Like Macintosh, like uh, Mac OS has no mates, like it's very secure. So you can se secure your files, you can like, especially in the remote world, right? It's easy for you to work with your colleagues. There are a lot of tools that you can build. Even though you can do this with Windows systems as well, there are a lot of tools that you can build with this. But if you don't have the money, like I've mentioned, like you don't have to get a Mac, you don't have to get a Laneway. You can get a regular Dell, Compaq, one thing, one thing. Install the apps you need, only the things you need, and you get your work done, you're good. So when I when, when I first started in products, I didn't have any gadgets. I, I didn't have a phone. Just I didn't have a phone. I didn't have a laptop or anything. Of course, uh, when I started working, my lap my company gave me a laptop, which used to hang so much. It used to it used to frustrate. Oh my god! And I complained about it. Nobody did anything. You go. I'm still hang <laughs> But um, so but but it still got the work done, right? I was still able to do a couple of things, and that was um. I can't remember the laptop now. I think it was a Dell. It was a Dell, but it was one of those. It was Core i3. It was um, 500 gig HDD, but um, the RAM I think was 4 gig. It did the work. Like especially nowadays, where we know that a lot of things are cloud based, right? So uh, most of the interaction tools you're going to be using, for instance, if you, if you do some product design on the side, use Figma. Is, is online. Uh, if you do like um, regular task management, use Jira or Trello, is online. Like, so you don't need to download much that's going to crash the thing. So you can start with like the base, I think, should be 4 gig RAM, 500 gig um, hard, hard disk. And then the speed should at least be 2 gigahertz. Like the processor speed should at least be 2 gigahertz. If you can get that and a quiet 3 system, you can start with that. For a mobile phone, you don't really need, even need a mobile phone full product. But then you can get whatever for you. If there's anything, you're fine. But I'll just say um, you should start with some smartphone, at least something that has Android capability. If you don't have the iOS capability, maybe iPhone 6, something that so that when you are you know interacting with your colleagues, it's easier and then you can still do some work on the go. But it's not like you need something sophisticated, you don't. Okay, so for the um, content, depends on the kind of content you're, if you're writing. If you're a writer, you don't really need to put so much thought into camera quality, yeah. Um, you just write and post because I remember when I first started, I used to do a lot of Facebook posts. As that. I can't remember like 2009, 10, and I was using the regular. I think I was using the techno, you know, those old techno, those ones that when start ringing, they'll pump out the cup. <laughs> <laughs> but then, I mean, I grew on That's Facebook. Easy. People knew me. I would go on the street. They would still identify me. So my point is, you don't really need to put too much thought into camera policy when you first start with if you're doing if you're writing but then um that so that means you can start with any phone really any phone that you see access to the internet right um oh very important that has very yeah important. <laughs> that gives you access to the internet um that also has that wouldn't hang right um for for if you are then making if a kind of content creator that does maybe writing and then video creation like i do um focus on the phone with good camera I, I i so i don't really know so much details as it does right but one thing i know is that <clears throat> pay attention to the speed and then the um camera quality and then memory right i'll explain it speed because when you're making this video especially when you're editing it 
if it hands it's frustrating you can lose the ideas you can lose the thought process of what you're trying to achieve memory because you are going to be making a lot of videos and pictures you don't want to have to upload to google delete its work um speed memory and work camera quality because that's that's a bit dicey because i also know of content creators that their, that their videos are not so clear but they're popular right they're popular they get work done people are diet fans of their work right i know a couple that i'm that i'm a diet fan of their work because i love the kind of quality of, of the content that they put out here yeah? but if you want to achieve content plus camera quality plus um speed um uh, plus pay attention to those things i would say i would say get an iphone right or get a samsung I don't know which point because I probably say I'll probably say Pixel. Some song I was yes. I'll probably say Pixel. Because the sweetest we're talking about, but well, people. Yes, yes, yes. Pixel. I agree. I agree. But maybe because we're talking about Samsung and all those things. Yes, and also Pixel because me right now I cannot afford Pixel. So let's not. Let's. Sapa is just doing. And you're you're, 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 you're making way. You're making it look like oh because you're married to me. <laughs> so I mean, I'm on you. My fellow content creators, right? <laughs> Please go for what to get your work done right. I wish I could really call of those things, but just know that what you're looking for is memory speed and camera quality. That depends on what you're trying to achieve. But don't let that stop you, right? Focus on what's in your head, the idea you want to put out. Trust me, like it will take you places where you will now begin to upgrade your work. Just to add a little something for productivity reasons, we are the kind of person who. Uh, I would suggest that you go beyond just having a laptop or a phone, right? You can now go as far as getting a watch that is smart or getting mm -hmm. like headphones because, for instance, you want to take a meeting, you're in transit, headphones, good ones. Um, watch as well that complements whatever you're using. I don't, I don't get a watch, but it doesn't matter. Um, watch that complements so that you can you can easily get like notifications. Like, Had this, yeah. Yes. So it's my gadgets. You who? Really, really you who should give me watch? I just so it's my gadgets. Um, if there's something I could, I could change, it's um, control, right? When I mean control, especially iCloud uploading my photos and videos. I did not send a message. When I have my pictures and videos on my phone, wait, let me authorize it. <laughs> it's annoying, right? For example, like if I have to delete um, videos or photos from my phone and I have to do a backup, it clears up those ones that are already uploaded in iCloud. I want to be able to have control. I want to be able to um, um, just know, I mean, authorize when it should upload to iCloud or not. Like, minus 60, by the way, for don't, Apple. Don't, don't finish my data. Yeah, that's it. Minus 60 for Apple. Right? Ecosystem. <laughs> ecosystem that we're making noise about. Ecosystem. That's not your business. Eco ecosystem. So mind your ecosystem. business. Ecosystem. You. <laughs> anyway, for me, um, what I will probably change when it comes to phone, I'm phone. I'll probably just change the phone to to S twenty two Ultra. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, it, but then there are a couple of things. Um, I really, even though I'm not the biggest fan of, I really like the ecosystem function, and I wish that at least that, especially for universal clipboard, because it makes things super. When I used to use used to use an iPhone, because I use like two FA for like so many things, because security, like you need, yeah. So if I'm trying to do something on my system that needs 2FA. I can just pick up my phone, copy it, and then paste on my system. I don't need to now start right typing like, yeah. So I wish I could get that kind of functionality, at least that interaction with um, with Macintosh, like Mac OS, because I prefer Mac OS to like Windows. So I wish I could change that, that's one. Then two, I don't like the way it displays um, the this thing on the screen when you are trying to interact with an app, the fingerprint, when you're trying to interact with another app. It just brings it out on top and makes the whole thing look very clunky. I think that's a very design fail, yo. So, if you guys might want to think about that, if you are listening to this, <laughs> please, you should just change that. If for like general, and this is probably like general Android, probably not an, a Samsung specific thing, but because I've not interacted with the other Android lately, I don't know. So, I'll probably change that. For, for, for laptop though, that's the one I'm going to change a lot of things about. First of all, and I know that they already, I'm the one, maybe I don't have money to buy M1. Yeah. Or M or M2 ZF. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, but like you see the Thunderbolt, the USB-C thing. It was a failure for for, for Mac. Like it do, it doesn't work so much. But I think that MacSafe has already fixed that. Um, the 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 keyboard as well. But I think that Mac has already. Mm. I, 
if I talk about my own current situation, because I know that some of these things have already been fixed, and like yeah, but with my own current situation, you see that 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 keyboard, I know they changed from butterfly to something else that, that the one I'm currently using is called, it still work. Like the keyboard makes too much noise and it's very annoying. And then it gets stuck somehow. And then apart from that, there's also the space management, especially with like the RAM, right? Like if I want to use like technical stuff, I have to go and adjust it within, to be able to manage RAM so that it doesn't, it works perfectly. So for instance, I also use the Adobe Creative Suite. If I want to use any of the Adobe apps, I would not have to go and adjust and say, okay, allocate XYZ space to this to make it like sort of run and it like doesn't make so much sense. So if they can like manage their space better, I mean, they, they can take a cue from Alienware, they do very well. So. Pixel, I wouldn't think about it. Pixel 6 Pro, easy. I wouldn't think about it. Same, same, same. Yeah. I, I'm betting on Google, actually. I'm placing a huge bet on Google. Like, they, I think they are like innovating and, you know, like pushing bounds, and I can't wait for what they're going to do. So, Pixel 6. <coughs> Which one is stubborn it has been She wants to say rubbish, oh. Which one? No, no, to, no, let me no, hear. no, no, no. What other food did I want you to... No. <laughs> Like, like, I mean, I mean. Right. I, I embrace it. Like, it's rugged. It's like one of, it was one of the most used phones in the world. It's so popular. So I'm going to be very popular. I'm going to be very rugged. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. It's stubborn. Yeah, that's I, why. That, that, that's the main reason why I chose the Galaxy phone for you. No, Allah. No, Allah. Yeah, so. Do you know Umdiji? Is this so no? Or something like that? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. But I think she's a beautiful woman, so it will still be Pixel 6 Pro. Ah! That's my phone, that's me. I th I, no, I, I'm actually in love with that phone. Yeah, right? Like, I think, they, I think they did some madness on the phone, so. Ooh, well, that's me. I, I mean, and, and, then, and then she knows I'm a strong, rugged husband, so 3310. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take more photos, um, even though that's on me because I think my phone can still do it. But then, just because I want to flex the capability of the phone, I've seen the Pixel 6 photos, they're excellent. So I'm going to take mo much more photos, which will then make me go out a lot more, right? Because I want to show people like what the photos is. Um, that's one. Then two, I think the native Android um, capability of the phone allows me to be able to tweak things around myself. These ones, they already constrict you because they already came with their own like UI on top of it. But then because it's native, I can change things around and then be able to customize it to suit my own personality. So that's something I'm looking forward to trying out. On iPhone, like this one, you can still change a couple of things. You see, iPhone, you can't do anything. <laughs> what they give, like, I paid big money. Ah, no, it's not like. I said I want everything, but the key thing for me would be the um, pictures and videos because that's like that's my thing. Pictures and with everything. No, now come on. You so fl I touch like and, f and flash at no, people and say, no, she, say cheese. <laughs> What's talking about Google? Just like three times, you have touch light. I doubt it. <laughs> so I'm so useless. That's what you're saying. Like a, no, zero functionality. Dog. No, 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 my. I dog. cannot help your wait, job. Wait, wait, no. Don't touch me. You are good at. You are good at. You are very good at. Yeah, very good at that. Yeah. Okay. Um, my name is Precious Chiji Kenneth. Um, I work as a, I'm, I'm a content creator. I create content for um, YouTube, Instagram, for brands as well. To work as a freelance communication specialist. Um, yeah, you can find me on YouTube, on Instagram, at Pretty Prexy on Instagram, and then you can find me as Precious SK on YouTube. Um, I've been on Product Banter. It has been fun, exciting. I had a fantastic time. This is Source My Gadgets. When you need your gadgets, come to them. They will help you source your gadgets. My name is Olua Femi Shiji Kenneth. Um, I prefer to be called Femora, and you will find me at iFemora everywhere, every channel. I am a product specialist or a product person um, and I would say that it's been fun hanging out on product banter even though I ended up being 3310 <laughs> but we changed the lot. I did not say I don't have any function, they can call, they can do stuff. Um, for everything we have mentioned here today, um, for all the phones, for all the gadgets, source my gadgets can source it for you. I probably advise you not to go for iPhone though, but it's your choice. Yeah, come.